Hello, Vineyard. I hope your week is unfolding well, man. I am digging this rain and the green that it is bringing. I'm praying for the moisture to get deep into the ground and heal the last few years of drought, especially for all of our farmers and ranchers. So keep that in mind as you pray today. Pray for that moisture to get deep. Um, also, keep in mind that this Sunday we are opening up the signups for our summer small groups. We've got a really good mixture of offerings to give us a chance to enjoy the summer season, but also to go deep into topics that are going to bring us closer to Jesus and closer to the work that he's doing around us. Now, some of you know that I've been finishing up a series of conferences for the Volunteers of America presenting moral injury to, uh, to clergy, mental health, um, and people that work with veterans, first responders, and healthcare heroes. Now, over the last three weeks, we presented in Cheyenne, Rapid City, and Helena. So first, I'm really tired, but also I'm looking forward to getting back into a rhythm here with, uh, with our Vineyard family. Um, also though, I had a question that I want to address with you. And the question last week was, when are you going to bring that stuff to us in the congregation? So on one hand, it comes out naturally in, in my sermons when I talk about identity and imaging. And I bet you can think back to times where you probably hear that a lot kind of come out just on a, on a normal Sunday. Now, being in the Sermon on the Mount and, and going through the Lord's Prayer, if you go back a few weeks and, and, and watch how we open the journey through the prayer by talking about the image of the Father, the, the one that we pray to in this prayer, you can hear threads of healing from moral injury and how we identify the way that we image God and the posture that we take when we pray. It also affects our ability to see him as a provider when we talk about our daily bread and forgiveness. Last Sunday, Brad did a great job of, of unfolding the truth that God gives from a place of love and devotion to his created image bearers. And this coming Sunday, we're going to see that from the place of forgiveness as well. This summer, though, I'm going to be offering the benefit of all the work that we put into moral injury and healing from moral injury in the form of a small group. I'll start by telling you what it is, right, which I'm sure would be helpful for those that, that aren't familiar with moral injury. Uh, moral injury is the self-handicapping shame we feel when we transgress or we are transgressed against by another, our morality. Uh, it's the spiritual side of post-traumatic stress, but also it doesn't necessitate a trauma for us to feel moral injury. For, for moral injury to exist doesn't necessarily have to come from trauma. It's the loss of, a loss of trust in self, in others, and in God. Uh, moral injury affects all kinds of people, especially those that have suffered or perpetrated uh, abuse, war, death, addiction, betrayal. Now, while this is a heavy topic, I can lighten that now by saying that healing is available, and I look forward to a summer of freedom in our Vineyard family from a prison of moral injury. So, if that resonates with you or sounds like something that someone you love is battling, check out the Unseen Wounds small group this summer. I'm looking forward to that. But first, I need to get to work and catch up after these last few weeks. So, Vineyard, I'm praying for you. Please pray for me, and I will see you on Sunday.